I'd rather say what what are some of the interesting lessons that exist in a country like India for any other country or India itself because India is not one thing. What's happening in one part of India may not be happening in many others. What gets institutionalized in a law does not necessarily work the same way in all places. Having said that, I think for instance India right to information movement has redefined the way right to information is seen around the world because it's come from poor people asking questions about their own survival and it's led to questions of participation and changes in those imbalances of power. They started asking where is my food coming from, where are my rations coming from, where are my wages when I'm not getting them and behind those questions they linked it between their own livelihood and who was actually exploiting them at all points. And it led to a far greater participatory process. So I think India shows a million ways in which direct face-to-face -face participation is taking place much more than many of the established Western democracies. Many of them are getting lost behind computers. India remains real face to face and the dynamic of a collective is something quite different. Can never be matched by a collective on, on computers. So this is not to say that computers have not played a very useful role or the internet has not played a useful role in democracy. It has. But it is to say that nothing can ever replace the social interaction of a collective and how important that is to democratic participatory democracy, democratic action. Their countries in the south, like India, I think provide far greater live examples and those are many things that really people elsewhere can also pick up and in their own versions and ways make for a much richer social life, democratic life, political life.